<laughs> I'm just waiting for my team. Nothing to say. Can you explain dynamic array? Sorry, just arrived. I would appreciate on topic questions, but uh, let me let me try. Let me try to explain the dynamic array. Uh, dynamic array. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, dynamic array. Okay, let's take a look at it. In computer science, a dynamic array, global array, resizable array, dynamic table, mutable array, or array list is a random access variable size list data structure that allows elements to be added or removed. It is supplied with the standard libraries in many modern mainstream programming languages. Dynamic arrays uh, overcome a limit of static arrays, which have a fixed capacity that needs to be specified at allocation. Uh, but the downside of that thing is that you cannot reliably take a pointer to the element of the dynamic array because essentially every time you add an element there is a probability that the entire array is going to be moved somewhere the question is why the hell will it be moved somewhere well uh, i don't know how would you implement uh, such array right how would you implement a dynamic array uh, so essentially um, you would pre-allocate uh, a certain a fixed array right you would preallocate a fixed array so we have a fixed array there we go uh, something like this and essentially you would keep track how many elements you already pushed into that fixed array right so uh, you push one in here and you put a pointer somewhere here indicated that this is how much you already filled right you push another element two and you'll move the pointer in here uh, and so on and so forth until you filled up the whole array uh, and uh, there we go. So, and when you're trying to push another element to this fixed array, you have no choice but allocate a new array that is bigger, copy the existing elements into that new array uh, right here and actually push here. So you see, when you ran out of the capacity of the static array, you have no choice but reallocate it in different place. Uh, right. And the same thing is going to happen when you ran out of this space as well. Right. So basically, you, you get a trade-off. Uh, right. So you can grow array uh, as much as you want, as much as you have RAM, but you can't reliably take a pointer to the elements of this array because at any point, this element, this, uh, element can be moved to a completely different place in the memory. So this is basically the price you have to pay. And quite often, if you need to refer to the elements, if you need to sort of like store pointers or references within the dynamic array, you have to do that as indices. Right, so uh, index it basically does not care where this array is located, right? Because uh, yeah, index is just like within this array, it's, it's a relative point. So, and that's basically everything you need to know about dynamic arrays. There's not that much to them, uh, right? It's just like constantly moving around static array that is growing. Um, does it make sense? Do they explain dynamic arrays well? Um, 